So I invite you to take a seat if you're not already seated or lie down. Really find a position that feels comfortable to you and give yourself some space to really feel into that. You might notice that you just settle into a position automatically and I want you to check in. Could I be more comfortable? Right? Would laying down on the ground actually be really supportive and nourishing and possible in this moment? Right? Or even if you're seated, maybe it's, you know, well, could I lean against something? The wall, the chair? Maybe bring in a prop, like a pillow or a blanket. Or perhaps even taking a moment to check out your environment. Like maybe it would feel really good to turn the lights off for a few minutes or to close the door if you're hearing some noise in another environment next to yours. And as you settle into a position, keep your eyes open for a few moments and look around. Look with the intention of noticing detail. Perhaps this is a room that you have spent countless hours in. Can you notice something that you've never noticed before? Like the shape of the room? Or the transition of light into shadow? Just notice detail. And see if there's something in your space, an object or a point or a color that just feels good. Whether it's because you're familiar with it or there's just something about it in this moment that has a quality of goodness or joy. And allow your gaze to stay there for a few moments. See what it's like to imagine that you can breathe in the goodness of that object. And when that feels complete for now, allow your eyes to close if that feels safe and comfortable. If for whatever reason that doesn't feel good for you, then keep your eyes open, but stay focused at one point to develop this ability to concentrate and focus at one point. So eyes open or closed, become aware of your breath. without manipulating or changing or forcing your breath in any way. Just notice it. Notice how easy or how hard it is to even pay attention to your breath. And if possible, can you breathe in and out 100% through your nose? Can you rest your tongue at the roof of your mouth? Can you relax your body a little bit more? So on each inhale, each inhale is like a spherical expansion in your low belly, pelvis, and low ribs. And each exhale is this letting go, this surrender, this grounding. And to be able to savor your breath a little bit more, what would it be like to breathe in slow motion, even just for a few breaths? Can you allow your inhale to move slower, not to breathe in more, simply to breathe in slow motion? And same with your exhale, take your time. What is it to release slowly, to notice the subtle change in each moment, in each breath? And to notice how each breath impacts the quality of the next breath. So each breath is an opportunity to experience yourself in this moment. 
and the constant change. So just with this intention of each breath being slow, deep, light, soft, rhythmic. And if your awareness wanders off, notice that. And bring it back to the breath. This is not about perfect attention, maintaining concentration and staying here. It's about noticing when you wander off and practicing coming back. It might feel good to have your hands on your body for a little bit more tangible feedback, perhaps on your belly or heart and belly. I find it really helpful as well to place my hands on my, just my upper waist so I feel my lower ribs and with a little bit of pressure in so that as I inhale, it slows my breath down. So just for another 30 seconds, just be willing to keep coming back to your breath and really notice it. Your breath is the gateway, not only to this moment, but to your personal power. It's okay if you wander off or your breath becomes uh, strained for a moment. Right? This is about noticing and then coming back to that intention of, okay, slow, feel. Expansion and surrender. One breath at a time. Now I invite you to bring your gaze to the backs of your eyelids if they're closed. Otherwise, maintain your focus if your eyes are open. And invite in the visual that you are seated in the center of a compass. Just take your time to see how that shows up for you. And if you're not a visual person, Sometimes I find it helpful to phrase it as, well, imagine what it would be like if you could visualize that. Right? It doesn't need to be a super clear, descriptive visual. Just imagine what it would be like if you could visualize yourself at the center of a compass. It might even be helpful if you're someone who loves movement to move your body a little bit, right? Moving from, you know, which way is north, west, east, south. Right? Feel yourself orient in the center of this compass. And as you land there, again, turn towards your breath. Feel that slow, smooth, rhythmic breath moving through you. And now just as an experiment, start to imagine what this compass is pointing towards in all directions. And it doesn't need to be an order of importance. Right? It's not a hierarchy. 
But when we sit in the center of this compass in this way where we feel calm and connected, and the compass is pointing towards what is most important to you, like whether you're in a difficult conversation or having the best day of your life, what are your core values? What matters to you? And treat this like an experiment in the sense of you don't need to get it right. Can you just be open to play with, well, what could that look like? And it doesn't have to be four core values. It could be one right now, your true north. Or it could be many different words popping up for you. See what it's like to just hold space. Keep feeling your breath as things start to organize around you. Knowing that when we're present and grounded, we are in the unfolding of reality, of the present moment, the now. And new information is going to be brought in all the time. So in this moment, in this experience, What's coming up for you in terms of your core values from your heart? And just take a moment to feel into what it would be like in moments later on today or tomorrow when you notice that you are dysregulated for whatever reason where you just don't feel centered you don't feel grounded you've lost touch of your breath or you feel like there's no space to breathe just imagine what it would be like to bring yourself back into this visual and to remind yourself of what really matters Feel yourself breathing in those core values. Bringing in the space, the flexibility, the presence, the trust. And when that feels complete for now, let's invite in a few breaths that feel awakening, right? Where the inhale is perhaps a little bit more vibrant, maybe even making some sound. You breathe in, you take your time. <sighs> if you're someone who loves movement like me, you might want to wiggle a little bit. <sighs> Notice what that feels like to bring yourself fully back. Use your eyes to look around the space again. Reorient yourself in the here and now as you notice detail. And I invite you to put pen to paper. Take a moment, maybe even draw out that compass of how it showed up for you and the words that appeared for you and keep coming back to it. Okay? Because again, knowledge is for the brain, but experience is for the body and we need to practice what we want more of, right? We're, we're practicing something in every moment, all day long. So why not choose what you're practicing? 
why not step into the driver's seat of your body vehicle and actually decide and discern what's going to serve you and what you want more of. So from the bottom of my heart to yours, namaste.